In this video, we'll look into XML and some uh, examples, the practical examples. XML is extensible markup language. It is used to share information between platforms. So between different platforms, information can be shared. Parox XML clause is used to retrieve relational data in XML format. It has one of these modes raw, auto, and path. In the raw mode, it generates a single row element per row. So we'll have this row element in the raw format. In auto format, returns one node for each record returned by select class. You have minimal control over shape of XML generated. For path, it combines multiple column data into a single row. Now let us look at some practical examples. Let us create a table. We delete the already existing one so that we can go from the beginning, create table. SQL basics dot PBO dot class so the class is the table DBO is the schema and uh, SQL basics is the database now ID teacher then uh, we'll take a student a cat 15 comma here subject take care of 50 marks integer so let us execute this table right click tables fresh have this class table created columns id integer student where care of 50 subject where care of 50 and marks let us insert some values into this. I already prepared the insert statements. So here insert into SQL basics or DVO dot class values. ID I have taken 1 to 10 numbers, students A and B I have taken, and subjects physics, chemistry, biology, social, maths, and these are the marks. So now let us execute this, it will insert these all these 10 records into the table. Now if we check, select star from full basic dot dbo class execute so all the 10 records have been entered into this table so now we want it these records in an XML format. So for that we use for XML class. For XML, first of all, let us see for XML path. So select ID student subject. 
equal basics dot review dot class so let us and here we need the for xml path for xml path So if I execute this, I had this uh, XML created. So I click on this, it will open this new query. So we have got these row elements created for each ID. For each row, there is a row and slash row created. So here is ID 1 and student A physics marks 93. ID 2 student A subject chemistry and marks 83. So that's how it created all the 10 rows in this format. Having each column as elements inside this row. That's how XML path uses the XML format. Now let us check for XML auto. Select ID print subject marks from basics dot bbo dot class for thermal auto so if I look at this So this XML has been created, but here XML auto is giving us this in this format. SQL basics is the database name, DBO is a schema name, and class is the table name. And then we are getting this ID one student A student subject physics marks 93. So it has formed 10 rows and then um using this uh, database schema and table name that's how the xml auto has given us the given us this xml format now let us see what does xml raw give us for xml raw select ID student with marks equal basics dot dbo dot class or xml prop. I execute this. It has created this XML. So here it has given us in the same format as uh, for XML auto, but instead of uh, database name, schema name, and table name, it has given us as row. And ID is equal to 1, student is equal to A, subject is equal to B, marks is equal to 9 in this format. All the 10 rows have been formed. So, in case of XML path, we have seen it as a row and slash row. So, it has picked up row from there, and then the format it is showing is as in the format of our XML auto. 
so this is how this uh, for xml raw format is right so that's how uh, this uh, table data can be formatted into an xml these are the some other ways in which you can uh, format and uh, sql server table rows into xml if you like the video please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button for notifications on upcoming videos please click on the bell icon